Uh, right now, though, let's move on to what we call the AAA, and, and abdominal aortic aneurysm. What is that and what are the symptoms? So there may not be any symptoms. Okay. The abdominal aortic aneurysm is essentially a weakening of the wall of the abdominal aorta. Okay. Now, this does happen more in elderly than the young patients, but there are some conditions that predispose even young people to having this sort of uh, dilation. Now, it's very scary when you have high pressure flow of blood through the aorta while the wall is weakened because that wall can tear. And not only can it tear, um, it can split, thereby closing the flow of blood to the lower extremities. All, all the things that we really don't want, very, very scary things. So you want to catch an aortic aneurysm before it does anything bad. And we have good studies now that show that um, within about uh, uh, five to seven uh, centimeters of dilation, you really should get that addressed. Uh, now, I don't really deal with the aortic aneurysms per se because I'm a spine surgeon, but I have some great co colleagues who specialize in that. Mm -hmm. They are vascular surgeons or cardiothoracic surgeons. My job would be to make the diagnosis. So when a patient comes in with mid-back pain, okay. that's one of the first things I think about.